I'd like to invite Honorable Madam President of General Assembly, my dear friend Maria Fernanda Espinoza, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, Ms. Daria uh, bodas Kuret, a permanent representative of Slovenia to the United Nations, uh, dear friend uh, Amina Mohamed, Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, uh, dear uh, field lovers of bees uh, among us. It is really a delight and a privilege to have you here among us, uh, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, uh, happy World Bee Day. I am very pleased uh, to join you here today. I hope uh, the rest of the world will be able to join us in spirit through the special UN stamps uh, produced for this occasion, which I understand will be the first that one can scratch and smell very lovely innovation. I don't know if this is true, but I was told that that's the case, hopefully. Yes. So you can scratch and smell, that's great. I commend uh, the permanent mission of Slovenia for initiating General Assembly Resolution 72-211 that designated 20 of May as World Bee Day, the birthday of Slovenian beekeeping pioneer Anton Janca. I also commend the Food and Agriculture Organization for its long-standing effort to highlight the <laughs> crucial role played by pollinators, bees, but also beetles, butterflies, birds, and bats, who propagate nearly three quarters of the plants that produce 90% of the world's food. Bees support a staggering 170,000 species of plants that sustain over 200,000 animal species. They are responsible for roughly a third of all food produced. They make nutritious food, notably honey and royal jelly, of course, which are also used in medicines, both modern and traditional. And in doing all of this, they support millions of jobs, farms, businesses, and communities around the world. Whether you are talking about eradicating poverty, tackling hunger, protecting biodiversity, or boosting rural livelihoods, these tiny creatures play an outsized role in our efforts to achieve the 2030 Agenda. But about, about half of all bee species are thought to be in decline. 5% are though to be endangered. Across the world, colonies have been collapsing and bee numbers dwindling due to factors including pollution, pesticides, urbanization, climate change, and the global trade in low quality honey. So what can we do? As states, we must ensure that the global diversity framework to be adopted in Beijing next year really does put us on the path to living in harmony with nature. As individuals, we can take action in our daily lives from setting up a nesting box to buying honey from local beekeepers. Dear friends, as summer finally seems upon us, I encourage you to visit the North Lawn and look at the bee, hut, the bee hut donated by Slovenia on the first World Bee Day. And I encourage you to support global efforts and the work of the FAO and wider UN system to protect one of the world's most important creatures. I thank you.